I want to say something to Chris and Fabri. It must be quite a thrill to see your son become a star. Oh. Huh? Come on, Chris, you can do it. Make mince meat out of that black ghost, Fabri. <laughs> <laughs> Some proud parents there. That's all from today's race. This seem like nice guys. This is all happening so fast. I mean, can you believe it? We now drive for Drakers. Yeah, I wonder if this is some kind of crazy dream. What do you mean? We both had the same dream that we were at the museum right before the ice race. Fabri and I wound up standing in front of the Marinello. Oh. It was like we were being shown oh. our future as racing champions. Where are we? Hey, Chris, take a look. It's... Good luck. We believe in you. Oh. I'm glad you told me. It may not have been a dream at all. Something similar once happened to Bob and Luke Rivera. Huh? I thought it was a side effect of teleportation, but now I'm not so sure. But where are Bob and Luke? Is it a coincidence that the Rivera brothers vanished right when we showed up? Didn't your friends Bob and Luke mention a big surprise the day they disappeared? Yeah, we were on the phone with them and they both seemed real excited. And there wasn't any sign of a struggle. What makes you think they may have left of their own free will? We went to their room and everything looked completely undisturbed. I asked around. Somebody claims they saw Bob and Luke right before they disappeared. Two spectators told me they saw them arguing with some strange men. Remember that they vanished right before they were due to race the ice circuit. That must have been only a few minutes before you and Sandra realized that Bob and Luke went missing. Hmm. Then the question is, who were those men the Rivera brothers were talking to? I have no idea who they are, but one thing is certain. Whoever lost this bracelet is somehow involved in their disappearance. From now on, I need you to be my eyes and ears, Miss Duval. I understand, Gotan. Privacy is important in this matter. You will, of course, continue your coverage of the formula races, but you must keep me updated on everything. Any questions? Just one. What can you tell me about the Rivera brothers? The fate of the Rivera brothers is none of your concern. They're just a catalyst for events that will bring me closer to my goal. The x raw field. But, Gotan, I thought the x raw field was only a myth. You are mistaken, dear Margo. I know that it's real, and when I find it, I'll become the most powerful man in the world. You would be wise to never question my judgment again. As you know, the Black Ghost, Hurricane, and Tigers teams will stop at nothing. They're ruthless and won't back down. Don't worry about that. The Drakers are different. The Formula Kids is tougher than it looks. The road to the Super Trophy is divided into three elimination rounds. There are eight drivers in the first round, six in the second, and the last point round has four finalists. And the public votes for a fifth. And drivers can choose which car to race on each route. Very good, Fabry. So what about track two of the ice circuit? It's an off-road route with harsh conditions. It's important to choose the Draker's vehicle that's most suitable. Let's go pick out the cars you'll be using. You've already made the acquaintance of the Moran and the Avanti. The Moran has four-wheel drive and it's the fastest Drakers car, hitting speeds of 350 kilometers an hour. The Avanti has four-wheel drive too, but could also stay airborne for a limited time. Say hello to the Janas and the Hello. Whoa. The Hello is solid and strong. It has five-wheel drive and it's perfect for the most treacherous circuits. Wow! The Janez doubles as an amphibious vehicle. You can communicate verbally with... Yes, I understand. Gonna have to ask you guys to wait right here. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I can't wait to hear these cars speak! Car Translator! Greetings, Chris. Greetings, Fabry. They know our names and everything! Man, in these cars, we'd be unstoppable! Indeed. I cannot wait to stretch my wheels a little. Would anyone here like a drink? One quarter of super oil, shaken and not stirred? 
I think we're gonna get along just fine. Come with me, boys. See you later, guys. The Marinello home base is a very special place. You'll learn your way around it. Is that where you're taking us? I can't wait to see it. Whether it's preparing the cars that compete in the GT Challenge or road testing them for the race, everyone here at the base works together, fueled by the same passion. You'll soon realize just how special Draker's cars really are. There'll be plenty of time to learn the ropes at Marinello home base, but I've got other plans today. So where are you really taking us, Sandra? I've got something special in store for you two. Hey! Go, Draker! On behalf of all of us, a welcome gift for the new Drakers drivers. Oh, ah, so that's why you're being so mysterious, Sandra. I told you there was something special in store for you. Ah, oh, thanks so much, everybody. Wow, what an awesome jacket. I hope we can earn the right to wear them. Don't worry, <sighs> Drakers, we won't let you down. Bring the Formula World Kids title back to us. We, we promise. promise. All right, back to work. We still have to run a simulation before the race. <laughs> the Jan Ez car is a blast. But Sandra, this car feels a lot different than Marin. Why? Jan Ez and Moran aren't the same. Team Drakers, transmit all necessary information through a combined GPS, radar, and laser sensor system to the X-Racers. The data streams 360 degrees around the vehicle, allowing the driver to use 3D vision in his helmet. All Draker's cars are different, but they're all designed to win. 1.23 and 0.851. They'll have to do better. Let's continue practicing. Phew. Sandra really put us through the ringer today, didn't she? Hector, how did we do? Not bad, I guess. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. What? The tip oh. of the iceberg? We're going on an x roll hunt. Get ready. It's a kind of treasure hunt, and it takes place in various locations. Oh. Each team will be looking for a hidden oh. fragment of x roll Remember, x roll is the fuel that's made this exciting evolution in automotive sports possible. x roll is crucial. The ice circuit must be behind those mountains. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Look, guys, the two lousy substitutes. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, the uh, substitutes. Stop repeating everything oh. I say. I'm sorry, Chief. What's the matter, Parker? Scared we'll find the X-Raw first? Huh? Hey, take it easy. This is supposed to be fun. And besides, we're going to win those new X cards. Thanks to the map application on our X tabs, we can get a lay of the land and scan the area for X Raw. My X tab is showing our opponent's positions. Seems they haven't found anything yet, huh? Hold on. I picked up something, and it looks to be two kilometers from here. Huh? Huh? It must be hidden in those rocks. First free practice session, Red Fury of the Drakers is almost back to his former glory and is making excellent time. How does it feel to participate in the Formula Senior Division? Well, the same way I felt as a kid. Racing's in my blood. Huh. Do you think it's possible you could win first or second place? Hey, I said no photos. I only agreed to let you interview me. You said no posed photos, Red. I don't think you're what you'd call posing. How dare you, Nina? No fair. Well, can you really blame me, Red? You're so... Nina! Mm -hmm. Nina Star! For you! Huh? Sorry, Red. I have to go. Gotta answer the call of duty. All right. Until next time. Let's try this again. Aim for that smug smile on his face. 
<laughs> Not bad, but you'll need more lessons, girls. Make yourself scarce. Well, if you're too busy to talk now... Nonsense! The girls were leaving anyway. Isn't that right, miss, whatever your name is? Only temporarily. You'll have to excuse the mess. I was teaching the girls how one deals with their competition. So how can I help you? Hmm? It was very special of you to agree to a photo shoot. Before we get started, how about a toast to what I hope will be satisfying for the both of us? All right, cheers. I love when people cooperate. What's that? I'm fine, Mom. I'm here in the forest with my friends. No, I didn't have any junk food. Yes, I'll get to bed early. Love you too. Bye. Hey, Kabir. Are you pondering the universe, or have you found that x raw yet? We need to reach those rocks about a mile and a half away. A mile and a half? I'm a driver, not a hiker. Find an easier way, man. I've got more calls to make. Ugh. Thanks for the help. If I find the x raw I'll just whistle. Or not. Man, this is a really beautiful place, isn't it, Lolly? It sure is, but maybe we should pick up the pace. My X-Tab indicates that the x raw is dead ahead. That's too bad for you, Kitty. I told you we should have stayed in the forest. Sorry, Tony, but the X-Tab said there was a shortcut we could take. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, Chubbelard, this is no time to take a bath. <laughs> My X-Tab is beeping like crazy. We must be getting close to it now, don't you think? got breaking news about the x raw treasure hunt. Team Drakers has won. That means they'll be rewarded a bonus of X cards that they can now use during the second round of the Super Trophy of Greenland. We're about to start the second round of the race. Tony Parker of Team Black Ghost, Ed Mitchell of Team Hurricane, and Lolly Surrey of the Tigers are lined up and ready to go. Chris Bravo and Fabri Morelli of Drakers are lined up behind Gibbons Black Ghost. Kabir Suri of the Tigers and Stan Murphy of Team Hurricane have been eliminated. Activate X-Racer. Start ignition. Contact and setup is complete. And they're off. Tony Parker of the Black Ghost is taking the early lead. Good start. These new X cards will give us a real edge. I hope so. Don't think about using them yet. It's a long race, boys. The sun's beginning to set. It'll be dark in 10 minutes, Sandra. It's almost nightfall. Your cars will give you all the information you need about the track since your view will be compromised. The drivers are leaving the main track to enter the dangerous track two of the ice circuit. Much of track two is unpaved and these roads are treacherous. With deep crevices, jutting glaciers, and sharp turns around steep cliffs. Better be careful, Lolly. Snow's on the way. Big deal. I love the snow. Despite the merciless climate, Tony Parker is maintaining his lead, but Chris Bravo is right behind him. Caution. Slippery conditions. Keep speed at 60 miles per hour.
Fabry is right behind Chris, and he's got a good lead on Ed Mitchell. He and his invisible co-pilot are in perfect sync. Curve to the right, 40 miles per hour. Good work, hello. That means the straight is coming up. Now, accelerate up to 150 miles per hour. It looks like Morelli is about to pass Mitchell. Mitchell, we have to work as a team. Blame the car. It was late with the information about that last curve. No, it's just that you think you can do this without my help. Snow, ice, and darkness. What a race, guys. Remember, the winning team will get bonus x raw fuel. The Black Ghost team, of course, right? Eric Schultz. Business, huh? It was just a photo shoot. Enjoy this moment, because it won't last long, Red. We've reached the midpoint of the race. Only four contestants will survive this round and move on to the point round. X-Card Defense, blinding paint. Ugh, I can't see anything, Tony Sandra. just used an X-Card to re-reflect his car's headlights to blind the opponent. He wants me off the road. Counter-attack with another X-Card. Parker seems to have slowed Bravo down. X-Card Rush, ultra lights blazing. I'm gonna have to slow down. Bravo is passing Tony Parker. Team Drakers is now in command. <gasps> yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah, just hang on to that lead, Chris. So much for the Black Ghost team. Chris and Fabry are great, aren't they, Red? I was much faster when I was their age. Good to hear, Schultz. I may have slowed down, but I can still handle you. I look forward to seeing if you can back up that statement. Now the battle is between Fabri Morelli of Drakers and Lolly Suri of the Tigers. Behind them, Mitchell and Gibbons. What did you have for breakfast? Dynamite? Uh, it's I'm out. Between me and you, Lolly. Get Lally. ready to eat my dust. Lolly Suri is giving it her best shot, but Morelli is going in for the kill. Yeah! yeah. Is in third place. Lolly Suri slips to fourth. Obstacle detected. Steering to the left. Trouble ahead for Lolly Suri. That front wheel damage could spell the end for her. is still in first place. Team Drakers have the two fastest car in this race. Well, hey, it was kind of fun while it lasted. Last four miles, Fabry can still take second place. Just keep at it, Fabry, and stay behind Chris. Attention, precipice on the left, <sighs> crumbling ice, reduce speed. That was a close one for Morelli. All the cars are heading for the final stretch. Chris Bravo seems to have this round in the bag. Second place is still a toss-up. Third place is still undecided. That's the big story of this race today. Only four drivers will move on. line first. Fabri Morelli in second place. Tony Parker is third. The bonus extra fuel goes to Team Drakers at the end of the second round. These two new drivers for the Drakers have stunned the racing world today. Coach Sandra Logan has done an excellent job with them. Congrats! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Yeah! Enjoy this, because tomorrow I'll be defeating you in the seniors division and there will be no one cheering you then. Our next race pits Red Fury against Eric Schultz. The battle between Drakers and Team Ghost isn't over yet.